Some new word on the platform today that Daddy Issues of Five is making a return to YouTube to refresh and revitalize his YouTube career. Because sure, why not? A man who benefited and profited by emotionally, verbally, and physically abusing his kids seems worthy of a comeback story like Elvis in 1968. Go to bed now! This is one desperate daddy. It reminds me of a bit of a movie called uh, The Wrestler, where it details a former championship wrestler whose glory days are long behind him, and he struggles to fit in with society and hold a normal job. However, that character was actually sympathetic. This jackass profited off of abusing his kids. Any employer could just look at his old YouTube videos and just be like, yeah, we don't want that image associated with our business. The only thing Daddy of Five is worthy of refreshing is a batch of new kidney stones, because clearly being an internet celebrity was already so successful for him. If you don't know the story behind him, here's Not So Slim Shady of Five and his garbage truck of a wife. They were a family channel who enjoyed pranking each other on the internet for the fame. Except 90% of the time, it was Daddy and Mommy and their three biological children abusing the two adopted ones they had, and what they saw as light-hearted family fun. If you don't recall what they did that got them removed in the first place, uh, the most infamous video of their pranks that they like to play on their kids is where they berated and humiliated their adoptive son Cody to tears and an absolute mental breakdown with this invisible ink prank or tell their eldest son to physically abuse and forehand and backhand their adoptive daughter. It wouldn't be long until this amazing success story was short-lived, and they were removed off the platform and haven't been heard of until now. Possibly thinking that all of this drama has blown over, much like Craig Thompson's thought process that in a few years, people would just forget about their misdeeds and mistakes. Like it was a small petty crime mistake. You know, like removing the tags off a mattress at Sleepworks. That's the way they look at this. But no, we're talking about a serious crime here. It's a comeback no one asked for and no one's looking forward to. The return of Daddy 5 is kind of not exactly what you'd expect. Now going by the channel known as the Martin Family with about 78,000 subscribers, uh, it's a much smaller scale and it's not exactly the content they make anymore because first of all, it's not the father that runs the channel anymore. It's actually the three brothers that were featured in the videos from seven years ago. And they're trying to grow to the status of like the Paul brothers with their videos. And it's kind of taken a, they kind of toned down a lot. So it's not the same content that you'd expect from Daddy05. And their overall videos are pretty lighthearted. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I have to be honest, it, it is pretty lighthearted. But that doesn't mean people have completely forgotten what was done and what happened years ago. Because their like to dislike ratio is awful. Only about 282 people have liked this video. But using a Google Chrome browser, you could see how many dislikes it has. And plenty of people in the comments section are telling him, we won't forget what you did. So it, the internet has not forgotten that. But that doesn't mean, you know, that just because this channel is run by the three brothers of the family, doesn't mean Mikey Martin is not part of the limelight. No, he actually created a new Daddy of Five channel. Uh, only like within the same year after the first one was removed and it's on such a small scale now at about 12,000 subscribers and he's trying to branch out you know and try new things he actually has a SoundCloud profile which goes by his moniker of Mikey M Mikey M yeah the rapper that's what uh daddy of five's doing now Guy. Just quit. It's over, man. Watching this continue on and on is like watching someone succumb to 
social media addiction rather than care about the most important things in their lives at that very moment. And if you really learned anything from this whole experience, plus losing custody of your two adoptive kids, there would be you would not be making any new videos or any new channels or trying to recapitalize on what you lost. You would be focusing on just raising your family. And that's it. That is all. You don't let fucking social media get in the way of raising your kids. If you really learned anything, you wouldn't be uploading this kind of crap. That's all.